Hello, everyone. Happy Sunday. I'm just mixing up my epoxy. So yesterday in a different group, I did a dirty pour with, um, with some whites at Color Shift. And it's ones I've had forever. And it came out really cool, so I thought I'd show you guys. And let me just see if I can pull this up on the computer so I can answer any questions. Really cool, so I Oops. thought I'd show you guys. Let's turn that off. <laughs> Hi, Hillary. And, um,. From your guys's pictures i had a couple people motivate me to try something new so i am um i'm gonna try to recreate that on these hi sherry just make sure i'm all good and mixed okay so the magic peacocks are out it'll be at least a month before they're back but I've had these guys for a really long time. And they also achieve the same thing. There's just not as many colors. And I got these coasters, a set of four, at Dollar General for $4. And after the live yesterday, I went and bought all the rest they had. Um, the first time I bought them, they, it must have been a fluke because they were $2, and this time they were 4 but I thought, that's not bad, considering um, the closest place I could get them would be in Nevada, and that's about 80 miles away. So, <laughs> hi, Sheila. Hi, Tinga. I hope I'm saying that right. All right, so let's get some of these puppies in there. So yellow snow, and it helps if I do it over here. And you're just using a little bit. You don't need very much. Um, a lot of the questions I get is how long will a five gram jar last? It should do at the very, very least five cups. And that could be 30 ounce, 40 ounce. These go a really long way, these micas. We have Green Flash. Hello. Purple Ghost. Hi, Mickey. I see blue. And last one up, Red Wedding. Got way too much on there. Hey, Marcel. I saw your earrings you did the other day. Woman, you have the patience. Uh, she crochets little tiny earrings. They are gorgeous. I do not have that type of patience. All right, just fill these up a little bit. Um, I'm gonna have leftovers, I know it, but I'm gonna do two coasters this way. And yesterday when I did it, um, the heat created cells and it was really amazing, and I did not expect it to go that way. So hopefully it wasn't a fluke, and it does it today. Let's get, oh. get these mixed up. This is always the slow process of a live. 
Hi, Sarah. No, Mickey, I'm not. I have not been able to get my hands on that. Um, I had zero interest in it till I saw Heather's live, and then I was like, yeah, I need that stuff. But I haven't had any luck getting it. I need someone to tag me when they see it online, when it goes for sale, because I know it's like super quick and fast. Like they list it on one day for about 15 minutes and it's sold out. I'm going to add a little bit more to this one. So you guys can see this one's green flash. Hello from Texas. I've been seeing Texas get lots of snow and I didn't think that was really possible. I don't know if you got snow. Texas is huge, so it's hard to say what parts. And I'm not trying to judge too, because I'm in California and people think it's always 70 degrees and I'm by a beach. <laughs> and today it is a whopping 30 degrees, I'm freezing, and we get tons of snow. Oh, that's right, I was gonna go look at Stone Coat. Some, oh, Annika told me that, that's right, and I just blacked out and forgot to go check out the website. So again, sorry you guys, the slow process. Tennessee. Tennessee sounds like an amazing place to go to. Oh, sleet. That's a pain. Sleet's the worst. Hey, Chris. Okay, you guys. So, I'm going to put this right here so that way it can drip off. I'm going to grab my gloves. Okay, this is definitely messy, but I had a lot of fun doing it. Okay. Let's see if I can do it right on top. And let me know. Hopefully you guys can see well enough. Is that good, you guys? <laughs> okay. I'm just going to pour a little bit of each in the cup. And I am a little shaky, so I apologize. Too much coffee. So get all these beautiful colors. And I hope you guys can't hear the music in the background because we know Facebook hates me and will mute the whole video. Hey, Angela. <laughs> Danielle, I can do about like one, two cups and then I'm like, and I like a chicken with my head cut off. <laughs> and that's really what it's like. <laughs> okay. I am going to put just a little bit on here so that way um, it kind of blends easier. Um, this is slate that I got from Dollar General. It was $4 for four of them. And um, I also got some tiles, a whole bunch of tiles from Floor and Decor, if you guys have one of those near you. Um, it was a screaming deal. I want to say it was, it's like close to a hundred tiles and it was $9. And I will um, show you what they look like in just a second. Now I'm all caca with epoxy, so I don't really want to touch too much. Oh my gosh, Danielle. 
I have friends like that. I cannot do that. Just like one sip of Red Bull sends me through the roof. And I think it's because I'm naturally like not a good sitter. Like I'm always going, going, going. But yeah, Red Bull is like a party. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Let's hope for the best. I'm just going to let it sit there for a second. Okay. So Home Depot is a good place too. That's good to know. We got to pass on the savings to our fellow crafters. So these were the ones I got at Floor and Decor. Okay, so I love it because it looks like an oil slick to me. And now I'm just going to get it to move around. Try to get some of my edges. And sometimes I wish lives you could hear other people talk. Because that way people would be like, you're not in camera. Move. And yeah, it does kind of look like a moon, huh? When the clouds are through and it kind of gets that iridescent rainbow effect over it. I mean, you could leave it like a circle like that. And you could be done. But I'm going to push mine over the edge wipe this off. And so this is where I got cells last time. So let's hope for the best. And let me move these out of the way because I will catch them on fire with my luck. We're already getting some cells. Sorry, guys. Sorry to wipe my hands again. Chris, they are Green Flash, Red Wedding, Icy Blue, Purple Ghost, and Yellow Snow. Oh, yeah. There's lacing right here. I kind of don't want to touch that, but I probably will because that's the kind of crafter I am. <laughs> you know, when it's beautiful and you're like, nope, one more thing. So that's it. These, these colors are white and I mean, you saw it in the cup, so it kind of looks like a little oil slick, but once on a black base, they really pop their colors. They pop it like it's hot. And yes, I just said that because I'm a super big dork. Okay, let's um, let's get you guys down real quick just to show you. And I'm sorry if the reflection's bad. So yeah, tons of cells. I had lacing down here. There's a little bit, but I think I hit it too much with the heat. But look at all of those. Those colors are amazing. So don't forget about these in the meantime as you guys wait for the peacocks. Get you back clipped up. All right. So I'm going to do one more like that. And then we'll try for different colors. And yesterday when I did it, I walked... Uh, I wiped the bottom of it, but I still had, um, you know, polka dots. Um, did I bring them in? Yep, I did. So here it is. 
This one I love. So it just will need some sanding. It won't be too bad. And like big chunks like that, I think you could just pop off. And then, in all honesty, who cares? It's a coaster. No one should be looking at the bottom of a coaster. The peacocks are great on blackface, but these ones are not the peacocks. Okay. And for the colors going in this cup, I'm just picking random. So yellow snow. Um, green flash, I'm pretty sure. Icy blue. Oh yeah, you can tape it too. Thank you, Julie. That's probably the smartest thing to do. And of course I didn't do it. Red wedding. I should have. Now I'm super mad at myself. <laughs> and purple ghost. Sometimes when a little idea pops in my head, I do not like think all the way through. I just start. I just go. And like I said, I think this part's important, you guys. It gets you better flow. And I just heat it up. That way I can move it with my hands better. It's about, mm, I don't know, 68 in the shop right now. So the epoxy is like not moving as fast. <laughs> yeah, if I can just give you guys like one idea to play off of, that's exciting for me. That's what I think crafting is all about. And with those pictures you guys posted, like I just took bits and pieces for inspiration. Okay. I'm going to get rid of those. Let it sit there for a minute. Yeah, super fun. I think they'll be cool with any color. But I just definitely wanted to show you guys these colors because everyone really wants the peacocks. But unfortunately, I'm out. Or am I? Did I accidentally find a kit? I may have accidentally found a kit the other day. But I'll probably make you guys work for it. Maybe a giveaway. Samantha, um, Dollar General. I just love it. I love the start of it. Get that moving a little bit. Now time to get messy. And maybe Walmart has ones like these too. I haven't checked Walmart, and I try to avoid Walmart after 8 a.m. Oops, I'm out of camera, sorry. KS Resin, Chris. I, um, I really love it. The working time with it is so long, which I appreciate especially for these lives. So look at that, you guys. That's where it's kind of getting its lacing from is probably from all the um, 
the folds in the slate. Since it's a natural, natural stone. But I did get good bubbles with the ceramic ones. Okay, I'm gonna hit this puppy with heat. See if we can't get some of those cells. And let there be cells. It just loves the heat. That's all it is. See, it's perfect. Stop torching it, Aaron. Stop. <laughs> all right. So that looks great. I'm gonna move this puppy and then we're gonna do some more. I'm gonna grab, okay. Now, I forgot to write down their names to say who motivated me, but I will inform them after. Um, Dang it, I'm so mad at myself. Oh, she did it in an alcohol ink cup. And I'm going to try this with tie-dye. Less is more. Um, it is, Sarah. <laughs> you know how I feel about that. Um, I'm not letting these puppies go to waste. So I'm going to use this as my base. And then we're going to do some alcohol inks. And it is also going to turn the alcohol inks into like a shimmer. Which is neat because usually alcohol inks are um, a flat color. I'm going to set that there. Let me grab the one. So this is alcohol inks. But... It has a shimmer to it because this one I used, I think I used green flesh as the base. So a little idea for using alcohol inks when you want them to shimmer, use um, a mica base. And you never know, Woody's Goodies might be working on some kind of project like that soon. Hopefully this year. It will be of completion. Always got ideas and big things up my sleeves. Okay, hit it with heat to move it around. Thank you, Sarah. have the feeling like this isn't enough. Kind of want a good thick coat. And again, I should have taped it, but I didn't. And I don't want to make you guys wait because that's boring. Okay. All right. I'm gonna lose a glove. And I'm gonna pick out some random colors of inks. Orange, yellow, blue. Sorry guys, I'm off camera trying to find some colors. I should have done that before, but I didn't. Okay, so we just have 
random brands. We'll go for the tie dye. You can use either or, Danielle. They'll both be perfect. That's why I kind of have a mix of 2.0 and regular in here. It's just all going to work awesome. One last time with the torch, and I'm setting that to the side because I do not want to hit this with the torch because they contain alcohol. And you do not want to catch your face on fire. So, if Sarah... Sarah Ann's still in here. Tell her to turn off because this is going to drive her insane. She she knows I use, <laughs> use like way too much ink. Yeah, chicken, huh? <laughs> oh my gosh. You just want to see some entertainment today, Megan. <laughs> I told you to not watch. Come on. Oh, is this one not open? Let me find, oh, there's a yellow. Kind of reminds me of like Hobo the Clown right now. But we're going to see where it goes. I'm gonna try something. Oh, don't fall. Oh. Okay, get a glove, get a glove. Yes, thanks, Sarah. It didn't really create the swirl effect I was hoping for, but it's still kind of neat. And yes, now I can hit it with a torch. I just try to give you guys the right information because I don't need anyone coming back and being like, yeah, my face caught on fire. I need those, yep. <laughs> right, we've all done it, but I just wanna help, and especially if people are new and never messed with them. I'm one handing this, so sorry. And we're getting cells. I just caught that on fire, so must have been where there was excess. Kind of tie dye ish, not swirl effect. That polka dot is going to kill my soul. 
So super pretty. And then, can you guys see that shimmer? Let me try this real quick. Oh, I don't think that's, oh yeah. So it gives your alcohol inks a definite shimmer. So kind of neat. All right, setting this off, we're gonna try to do one more. Don't fall. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think what color I wanna use. I think I'll go with another white tile. And we'll do icy blue. Yes, lots of cells. that moving I have color on my hands so I'm gonna try to get some of it off before I start wiping myself some more gloves. I go through a lot of gloves apparently. I think I will put a little bit more on that end. Like I said, I want this thicker. That one wasn't even as thick as I wanted it. <laughs> Danielle, Danielle's our uh, wipey queen. She, she probably goes through like a hundred alive. Am I exaggerating a little bit, Danielle? <laughs> or am I pretty spot on? Just get that moving. I'm going to choose a couple different colors. Just the ones I see first on my desk, apparently. I see. There we go. It's a little thin right there. <laughs> oh, look, I'm not even, I can tell you that. Because it's immediately going that way. That should be good. Ooh, almost dropped the lid right on top of it. Some polka dot action. Get some yellow in there, which on top of that blue will turn it green. All right, let's move this puppy. Get my other glove so I can hold it. Hey, Mel.
Now this is totally what I'm going for. It's all about the color combo. Whoop. Throw that on the ground. And there we go. Now this is way more tie-dye feeling. For me anyways, you know? Okay, torch it. Hopefully it doesn't catch on fire. Get a couple more of those cells working in. Oh, yep. Definitely got cells. Harbor Freight, yep. Megan, that's the best one I've ever owned. I bought an expensive one from Ace Hardware and I hate that thing. And the Harbor Freight one, the first one lasted me a little over two years before it like caught on fire on a live. <laughs> it was just like poof, done. Okay. I'm still trying to think of her name. I can picture her profile picture. The one that motivated me for the tie dye, alcohol inks. Okay, let's move on. There was the very first comment was a fire and ice cup. <coughs> so I'm going to try that. Uh, Amy, I can see everyone's comments. Um, let's see. I don't even think I picked colors yet. We'll go back to the slate. And I totally didn't pick colors yet. So let me find um, a red and blue. Um, it's kind of the first ones I see. So I'm gonna do rainbow blue and crimson wine. I've got a mess going on. I'm going to move these guys out of my way. All right. Now let's hope for the best for this one. Make sure you guys can kind of see. And yep, just a little dab will do ya. Rainbow blue. This one is a really pretty blue. I love this one. And that red is pretty dark, so I'm just going to glance over here real quick and um, see if I see another red to mix in with it. And I do. So I see chili pepper, which is like a red-orange. I'm just going to add... A little bit of that. Remember, don't be afraid to mix colors, guys. Um, so if your stick is translucent, um, yeah, I would just add a little bit more. We'll do a little tester on this. Definitely not translucent. So we are good to go.
that's definitely a good mixture right there. Okay, let's see. I think I'm going to do it that way. Um, okay, get a base coat. Just clear epoxy. Now, I haven't tried this one yet, so if it doesn't work out, oh well, at least I tried. Hey, Kathleen. Good little base coat. Wipe some of this epoxy off my gloves. Hit it with a torch. Yeah, Megan, you can definitely overdo with these micas. Um, not necessarily like that'll be clumpy, but you just are wasting product. And you definitely don't want to waste product. Okay, let's see how this goes. Now, I think I will, yeah, kind of mix it back and forth. I need to hit it with the heat. <laughs> now I have epoxy all over, so I don't want to. These ones are even um, getting cells too. Kind of get a little bit of that mixture. Okay, and I'm gonna put some white in there. I think I'll do, I have a little bit of icy blue still. Come on, you can do it. Just try to get some of this black infilled. All right. Okay. I'm hoping you guys aren't losing too much. Sorry. a little bit. I think this is a uh, purple ghost, but we'll just see how it goes. And now that it's on there, it's red wedding. Oops, got a mess right there. Rut row. 
Not what I wanted. Oh well. Looks pretty cool. So that's my take on it. Yes. Loretta, you can definitely do that too. Let me throw my big pile of gloves away. Okay, I'm going to move this and we'll try to do another one like that. This one has great cells, great cells. All right, and we'll do this one with... Um, Ah, the heat gun. Whoops, made a mess over here. Maybe I'll try this as put a little down. Oh, wrong cup. Get our base coat going again. All right. There we go. Wipe off some of the epoxy on my glove. Try to anyways. Okay, now let's do this again. Totally making a mess, I'm not worried though. You guys there got a phone call interrupted it okay sorry I keep getting a phone call And the black from the slate's showing through, so I'm not really worried about that. This one's Purple Ghost. Put some green flash in there. If it doesn't look good, we can just cover it with more blue. Hit you again, sorry. That is not fire and ice, but that looks like a sunset, so I'll take it. So the first one I feel like was fire and ice. This is more of like a sunset. So, I'm gonna just leave it as is, cause I dig it.
All right, you guys, we are all done. And I'm going to take the phone off and show you guys. Okay. Ooh, got a little epoxy in my hand. Okay, lots of cells. What do you guys think? More of a sunset? An ocean sunset? That's what I kind of think. So it looks great. Okay, here's the tie-dye ones. They're doing really good. Lots of cells. And you guys saw how easy and quick this was and fun. And remember, Micah's uh, as the base, you will get shimmer on top of um, your alcohol ink or below your alcohol ink. That's kind of cool, that spot right there. Here's the first ones. Look at those cells. And you guys saw all it was was heat. It just blew its mind and was so excited. And then the fire and ice. Let me see. No, nope, that doesn't really help. Sorry, there's a glare from the light above me. All right, you guys. And that was super, super easy and fun. If you need that like quick minute craft project, cause you're kind of like me and you, you've been having writer's block, this is like perfect instead of a really long project to start on. Um, I've got molds around here, so I'm definitely nothing that is gonna go to waste. I'm gonna put it in a mold, turn it into a keychain or an action figure for a kiddo. Yeah, Kathleen, that one came out really good. I do, I dig it. And I will tell the people after. Thank you for the motivation. And maybe if they're interested, they can have a coaster set or they can have some colors I use to make them. Oh, uh, thank you. All right, you guys. Well, you have an amazing Sunday. And... Just um, if you have questions, I'll try to go back through and answer them. Alrighty, bye guys.